Uh, La Pavone, Europicola, EPC-8, neglected, bruised, battered. Scale here, and there's more scale in the boiler. Hot citric acid solution, about an hour. Take care of it, rinse it out, looks real nice. Address the vent steam faucet body. Well, so we'll remove the wand, take out the internals, short length of PVC pipe, apply it to the body, one movement, puts it straight. Now, move on, pressure regulator comes right out, don't lose the ball. Move on to the group. Top nuts off. Lever pin clips. Levers off. Remove the group from the boiler. Spin off the siphon tube. Makes it more convenient. Peel out the old group to boiler seal. Then, group gasket. It's pretty hard on this one. Try to knock it out. Try to cut it out. Not much progress, so we chisel it out. Small screwdriver works. Just want to get a purchase. Once you get out one small piece, the rest will generally come out fairly easily, sometimes in more than one piece. All that's left, the rod seal. First we take out the clip, and we pull out the porthole washer, and reach in, dig out the seal. All done, no broken parts. So it's a success. We move on. Sight glass. Sometimes difficult. Loosen the bolts. And grasp the sight glass through the metal covering. With your fingers, twist, lift, push. Once you get it started, apply some lubricant. Work the lube into the seal. And stay away from that with metal tools. A little wood stick pushes it right up and out of the top. Remove the bearing washers, the lower seal, the upper seal. Ah, uh, yes, that's all out. Again, no broken parts. What's under the hood now? Okay. Wiring diagram is going to help later. Remove the small bolts, nuts. Set them aside. Bolts out, heating element out. Now, to get that flange nut off, big problem. Official Pavoni factory tool, not enough to do it. Penetrating oil, let it sit overnight, it's best. Sharp tap with a small hammer, breaks it free, spins it off. Now, one last thing, take the seal out of the steam valve mechanism, you drive it out with a punch. A little jig helps. Push the pin through the back of the knob. Homemade tools are often the best. Now it's all out. It's all apart. It's time to clean, polish, and prepare for the rebuild. Looks good.